There we go. A little off on the other side of the boat there. I believe the old boy grabbed it and growled right there. He just can't. No, he didn't. He's still on there. I thought he came off. I thought it came off, but there he is, little old bitty trout. He's not much to look at, but he is the right kind. But basically what we've done is we started out fishing in the creek this morning over there at Christmas Creek. Went in there to fish for a little while to catch some flounder. Well, we got a flounder caught, and we didn't give it much time because we knew the fish were out there on the beach. So we slid out there to the beach, got on the front side, and of course, well, y'all have just seen what we've been doing out there on the beach. But we wanted to come back in here into the sound area itself and show you that this time of the year there's fish hey they're just all over the place and if you move around a little bit you'll catch plenty but many times hey you don't have to move all day long but we're back here in St. Simon Sound right now and we're going to fish a little bit more and see if we can show you some fish back up here in the sound itself right here around the grass flats and the shell bars. There he is, right there, right there. Another little old buck trout. A little old male trout. Well, one thing we've seen is there's definitely a bunch of small fish right here in this area. You'd think there'd be one of them big big females we'll give another shot and you know anytime you're in here fishing and you run into a lot of these small trout many times as the tide rises the actual size of the fish will change because the male trout, trout may move on down the bank and then the big trout will move in so you know don't give up on it right away but if you're just catching you know, like 20 30 40 or 50 of them i mean just every cast every cast you might want to move but right now we're seeing a mix in the fish right here in this area and primarily they're small fish but we still see bait working at the bank, but we got plenty of places right here to fish. So we'll just kind of, you know, keep visual right here, look for the bait moving down the bank and, uh, and try to get one of these big spawning females right here. I think we ought to. There's a lot of bait coming right by that shell bar right beside us right now. Oh, Mr. Trout. And that's probably a, about a 12 inch fish. But he didn't take long to grab that bait. Matter of fact, there's some glass minnows right here against this shell bar. And I believe that he's probably not by himself. And maybe there's one even over there bigger than that. Come on there, Mr. Trout. Boy, this sound is just loaded with the, this size trout right now. Just loaded with them. He might not be all that much, but it is a trout. Oh, a ladyfish. Easy, easy, easy. Oh, ho, ho, ho. You can hear that noise that cork makes right there, but that's a ladyfish, everybody. And these things right here are real acrobats. Some people call that a poor man's tarpon. Right off that shell, but oh, come on, stay on there, baby. Stay on there. I mean, just hit the water, first pop, and that rascal. I don't know what it is, but he's got some weight to him. He came in there and just hammered that thunder chicken. And he's got some weight to him. 
You surely don't think we done got invaded by the sharks, do you? Well, if we did, that's okay too, because I'm still catching fish. Let's see here what we got. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Go, son, go. Go, go, go. There we go, come on, baby, come on back around. I think he's gonna make me run around the boat after him. And you can see right here, the island just right out, right out here in the front of us, that's St. Simon's Island. And we're just right back here in the sound right now. The marina, it's just right over there. We're not even about a mile away from the marina right now. But there's, there's just so many places you can come down here to fish. And when you go to fish in the salt water, take advantage of all the opportunities you got and enjoy everything that you get a chance to catch. But you know, one thing you can feel assured of is you're sometime throughout the day going to get some fish that's going to pull real good. So always have your drag set. Hey, fishing in about all about how many you can throw in a cooler. It's about how good of a time you can have, even with your youngins. And that fish right there is he's not going to stop. That's what it is. It's a shark. I couldn't tell what kind just then. But I saw the thunder chicken come up top of the water. I know I was close. And he don't want to come any closer to the boat than that. Old bonnet head. This one's got a little bit more weight to him. Well, I come in here to try to catch a trout and look what happens. Old Mr. Bonnethead comes in. And there's a few pounds of fish right there. Easy, easy, easy. Easy, 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 easy. Well, that's pretty neat stuff. It looks like that wind's starting to pick up on us pretty good. Oh, come here, rascal. Come here, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. And there you have it, y'all. That is him. Well, it's not a speckled trout, but it's a fish nonetheless. It looks like the wind's starting to pick up on us a little bit. And well, we've done a little bit of all of it today. We got there on the beach and caught some fish. We caught a bunch of small fish back here in the sound. And we also caught a flounder over there in Christmas Creek today. Look, a lot of opportunities down here to fish in the salt water. And you know, catching fish this size right here, which is probably about a 12 to a 14 pound fish, hey, it's always fun. Remember, only keep what you need, let the rest of them go. And if you ever want to get down this way and do some fishing, perhaps you want to give me a call, Captain Mark Noble, or you can call Golden Isles Charter Fishing Association. But if you have your own boat, by all means, get to the salt water and try it out. I think you'll find that it's pretty fun stuff. And if I can help you out anyway, I will. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed today's show. I'm Captain Mark Noble for Captain Mark Noble's Outdoor Journal. We look forward to seeing you again next week.